Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Come on, let's make this dish. Okay guys, so today we're gonna make a Sierra Leonean dish. I used to have a friend years ago who taught me to make this and I wanna share it with you today. It's so delicious. It's usually called roast meat or um, meat sticks. What I have here is a little more than three pounds of meat. I am using pork, usually beef is used because Sierra, Le Sierra Leone is a Muslim country so they wouldn't use pork, but I have pork so I'm using it. It's going to work just fine. I wash this with lime juice and water. I have about three sprigs of thyme here. I'm just going to pull the leaves off and get that in here. I'm going to squeeze the juice of half of a lime in here. Um, I'm also going to, let me get this in here real quick. Okay, now we're going to get our powdered seasonings in here. I'm going to use some cayenne pepper. This is usually pretty spicy. It's about a tablespoon and a half. I'm going to use a little paprika. About a teaspoon chicken bouillon, about a tablespoon, black pepper, and about a teaspoon, some garlic powder, that's about a couple teaspoons, and a little all-purpose seasoning, about a teaspoon, and I have a few cloves of garlic here, the little ones. So I would say about three large cloves. I'm gonna throw those in. And I have a habanero back here. I'm gonna throw that in. So what I'm gonna do is mix this together. And I am going to get it in a Dutch oven pot or just a deep pot. And I'm not putting any liquid in this whatsoever. I'm just going to put it on low and cover it and let it steam because what I want is for not only the seasonings to get in here but I would like for it to soften up a little bit so I'll get it in my pot and I will um, come back and show you what that looks like actually while we're waiting for that I will show you the sauce that we're gonna make so my meat has been on the stove on low heat medium low for about 25 minutes now you don't want to cook your meat until it's so soft because you want it to be able to hold on to the skewers and not fall off uh, <clears throat> while we're on the topic of skewers I soak these for about 30 minutes just in some tap water now here is our peanut butter mixture I'm just going to pour it on here and get it mixed up and I'm gonna let it sit in my peanut butter mixture for about 20-30 minutes and then we'll get them on the skewer okay alrighty alright guys so this has had a chance to sit and cool off and what I'm gonna do is just get it on my skewer and just get my peppers and my onions threaded on here no rhyme or reason you can decide how you want to thread them on and I'll just do it like so okay so let me finish the rest of them and traditionally these are grilled outside on the on your grill but it is hot 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 outside and I'm not going outside so you know what weapon I've been using recently that's it my air fryer <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make these in the air fryer all right 
Let me get this together and we'll come on back and air fry these. That's why my uh, stick is so short because it has to fit into my air fryer. Okay, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I have everything here on my platter. I'm gonna get them into my fryer basket. I think I'll do three at a time. I'll put them in there at 400. I'll say I'll turn them maybe about five minutes, but I'll check to make sure it's not burning, okay? All right, guys, here's the final product. I did it on each side for five minutes, serving that with onions and the cucumbers. You can serve it with plantains, rice. This is delicious, guys. I hope you take the time to try it for your family. I know peanut butter sounds a little weird, but trust me when I tell you, it is delicious. I appreciate you coming back into my kitchen and I hope you come back next time when I promise to make another delicious recipe. Bye!